the question must be clear to you how does the polarized dielectric modify the original electric field so now we have a box this side is positive this side is negative and there is some material let us say there is some material so original electric field was like this e not and there is a dielectric there is a dielectric and this dielectric becomes polarized in the with the application of this external field so how will this direct dielectric change the electric field previously it was e not now the dielectric itself has become polarized how will it change the original electric field inside the dielectric that is the question so let us see how it will change the electric field inside now see again we are applying an electric field external electric field so again this side is positive this side is negative how can you say because electric field is from positive to negative so this is the direction of electric field this side is positive this side is negative now if you see there is a dielectric material filled inside this box dielectric material is filled inside this box if you see that again this material has become polarized whether it is permanent dipole moment where there is a permanent dipole moment or not whether there this is polar molecule or not but at as we see that it has become polarized when we applied the external electric field again remember even though for non polar molecules there is a induced dipole moment because this external field induces this kind of asymmetry this is uh, asymmetry means there is a difference between negative and positive charges if and for polar molecules there was already dipole moment but that was randomly oriented this external electric field helps them in aligning so in both the cases external electric field is needed now what happens is if you see the inside part if you leave this boundary if you leave this boundary so the positive charge of one is very near to the negative charge of other same here same here so there will be almost no effect at the inside layer there will be again see the positive charge of this is very near to the negative charge of other so there will be almost no impact of this dielectric polarization in inside this material but if you see at the boundaries at the boundary on this side positive side there are only negative charges only negative charges and on this side there are only positive charges there is only positive charges so a surface charge density is there which is positive and on this side this is a there is a surface charge density which is negative so again see this positive and negative cancels out for throughout the medium inside but if you see the right side so this these all are positive and left side these all are negative so there is a induced surface charge density this is negative and this is positive and it will try to create it will try to create an external field so sorry internal field this internal field will try to oppose this external field but as we have already seen this internal field is not so strong that it can oppose it can oppose the completely so hence there is a non zero non zero electric field while for conductor this internal and external field both are equal hence there is a zero electric field inside a conductor so for a conductor what would happen for a conductor this e inside must be equal to external electric field for a conductor but for a non conductor this 
E inside is much lower than this external electric field. Now let us read this what they have written. So volume element delta V. We have taken a small volume element delta V of the slab has a dipole moment P delta V. Okay. So P is the dipole moment capital P. This is again C capital P and a vector quantity. So the polarization, what is polarization? The definition of polarization is dipole moment. Dipole moment polarization was dipole moment P per unit volume. Okay. This was this. So now dipole moment P is simply capital P polarization into delta V. Again, remember this capital P is polarization. This is dipole moment. So every volume element delta V of the slab has a dipole moment P delta V. This dipole moment is P delta V in the direction of field. Again, C. Since dipole moment has a direction from negative to positive, even though electric field, internal electric field is opposing, but the dipole moment is in same direction as the external electric field because dipole moment is always from negative to positive. So th there is a net dipole moment in the direction of external field. Again, this delta V has no charge. So if we take this volume element, this volume element, so this volume element has no charge. Even if you consider this as a whole element, there is a no charge. All the positive and negative ions, total number of positive and total number of negative charges are exactly equal and will cancel each other. But at the boundaries, at one side positive charges are accumulated, at one side negative charges are accumulated. But overall there is no charge. There is no charge overall. At the surfaces of the dielectric normal to the electric field. So this is the direction of electric field normal to this electric field. This, this is the surface. This is the surface which is normal 90 degree. At the surfaces of the dielectric normal to the electric field there is evidently a charge density. So this is the charge density. This is negative. This is positive. The unbalanced charges are induced charges due to external field. So these are the unbalanced charges. This side has become negative. This side has become positive. How they are there? Because they are induced by the external field. Even though total charge is neutral, but at the surfaces, one surface becomes negative, another surface becomes positive. And these charges are induced due to external field. The total field in the dielectric is thereby reduced by the case when there is no dielectric. Let us say if there was no dielectric present, then this total field was E, E or E naught total electric field. But since there is a dielectric, so this, this positive side, this side has become positive, this side has become negative. And this inside portion has perfectly cancelled out. So there is a net inside electric field which is E in. So now total electric field is E is equal to E naught which was external minus E in. So there is a net electric field which is reduced which is reduced. So the total field in the dielectric is thereby reduced from the case where there is a no dielectric. In no dielectric when there is a dielectric. The field is reduced. Now let us go to another important topic which is capacitors. So every year a question in board exam comes from this topic capacitor and the capacitance. So see here there are two conductors and there is a gap. Two conductor separated by an insulating material. So that is a capacitor. This is a conductor 1. This is conductor 2 separated by an insulator material. 